what's up guys on my last video I showed you the last step I've done um, to install this Pinduino or to configure this Pinduino and make it work on my Eclipse 428 and one of the steps were um, was to remove this signal conditioner I had a comment on my on that video um, someone asking for more details like why did they take that out so let me explain you right now and before I share my screen with you I'm gonna just uh, bring the subject up and then we go and drill down a little more so there are two kinds of uh, sensors that we use to determine the RPM and where the engine is at and all that stuff which is crank signal and camshaft signal those signals usually uh, they have a sensor which is there are two kinds of sensor and there is something that spins inside and this sensor magnetically magnetically magnetic um, receives this signal and then loses it receives and loses it and this receiving and losing is what the ECUs get back from um, from the engine to know oh the engine is top dead center the, the engine is not top dead center the engine is going to be top dead center in 10 degrees or so on right whatever it is whatever the configuration is uh, so there is VR sensors which is variable reluctant um, usually they have two wires which I'm gonna show you in a minute but is signal and ground or signal and return or something like that um, and the other one has three ground three wires which is a hall sensor so the hall sensor uh, it works a little bit different the ECUs needs a square um, I was gonna say square wave but it, it needs a square pattern uh, received so it can work with that the VR sensor sends a uh, wave signal and the hall sensor sends a square so the Eclipse has two hall sensors so I don't need this board here and that's why we open the ECU and switch the jumpers saying this is a hall sensor this is a hall sensor so you put two of those and there's a pull up that says uh, send five volts um, to the place where they they gotta send five volts. The VR, on the other hand, gotta go through this thing here, and this thing here receives the the variable reluctant uh, signal, which is the wave, and transform that wave into a square, which then the ECU can use. So, and that's why you have like filters and some other things, because you can use filters and um, that can ignore some imperfections on the waves that is receiving and is going to translate in good square waves so basically uh, this is all the explanation but the short version of all of this is if you have a VR sensor you need this little thing in here and this is called DSC I'm gonna show is dual signal conditioner um, and if you have a hall sensor you don't need it Eclipse has the hall sensor I don't need it the BMW 2JZ has uh, VR sensors I needed it all right so this is the actual board that receives the signal and translate transform this signal into um, square and then that's it right so as you see here on my hands let me see if I can show you um, this has pins and stuff, which means that uh, the guys from the Speedy EFI uh, solder those things in here, so we can just stick in the um, in the board, and it goes to the right places and condition the signal for us. Then uh, I I said I was going to show you something. So this is the signal. I just got these images from uh, places. This here is from Speedwino. Uh, it shows the uh, the wave signal so this is raw unconditioned VR signal so when it goes through uh, this little board here right the one I just showed you it transforms into a square the hall sensor is already a square I also found this I mean there's everywhere the the pictures and 
and diagrams of how they work they're everywhere uh, this is from Haltech. Uh they just explain how it works so you can see here the two wires uh, and zero volts and you can see the VR sensor and you can see the wave right the wave signal and here you see the three of them and the square signal and that's pretty much it one thing to note is each one of those boards here so this board here is a different version than the one I had before and this here when you google it um, it's showing so see this conditioner is known inverting set your trigger to falling edge the other trigger uh, board I had um, it was saying the other way around it's saying this conditioner is inverting so set your trigger to rising edge so the only thing I would say is check if you have VR sensors you don't need to remove this you need to be sure that your jumpers if you're using speed EFI if you're not using speed EFI speedino it might be different on the board I don't know those guys here they make very easy for you so you can just do what I did open switch some stuff and good to go and yeah and you need to be sure that you have falling edge rising edge and all that stuff so I don't need this so whatever they say on their website it doesn't matter to me um, and I need to see if it's falling edge or falling edge or rising edge according to whatever my car is but um, thanks for for the question I think that was a very good thing um, you know things that we try to YouTube and Google when we can find or side to find I'm glad to help um, and in this case I knew but on my first in installation I didn't know um, what was happening until I, I learned all of this so glad to share thanks for asking again don't forget to subscribe there's a lot more to come Mitsubishi is gonna uh, drive in a minute uh, in a minute I mean a couple of days tomorrow I need to uh, switch change that to individual coils so I'm gonna get the coils from Audi R8 I'm gonna put on my Mitsubishi Eclipse and then wire everything again to the speedy EFI and fire it up boys stay tuned I'll see you on the next video